got a 2018 Ford EcoSport sitting out here in my parking lot. It was towed in. It says it's stalling and sputtering and won't stay running. Let's check it out. This beautiful creature right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I only brought the key, so I'm going to see if I can get it up and limp it inside. All right, moment of truth. Ooh. Well, that seems like a crank no start. Looks like I'm pushing it inside. If I had bays open at the time, I would have had the tow truck drop it off inside. But that wasn't the case. Well, I got it from over there to uh, over here. We're almost in. And I'm out of breath. It seems like we're getting somewhere. Should run for a second. Trying to break out the scan tool. All right, let's do a fault scan. So far, a couple codes in the PCM. Let's see what we got. These are the only codes we've got. Hmm. Go in and check my data. That's data for everyone else. I want to find my coolant temp sensor. So I want to check fuel volatility. Coolant temp's reading about 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That was about what it was outside. Fuel rail pressure. I'm going to do some digging and let you know what I find. This thing won't stay running long enough to do a power balance test, but I got it for a split second to see the cylinder two is a dead misfire. I'm going to do the old coil swap test and see if it moves. Still misfiring on number two. I'm going to lay this out and see if we're getting spark. And we are. Looks like we go down the injector rabbit hole. We're getting fuel and stick a compression gauge down the hole. All right, moment of truth. Well, she's got a squeeze. All right, well, we got her running. Turns out she was uh, a bit flooded. Decent fuel pressure, and we've got decent spark. Question is, why was it flooded? This thing sat overnight with the coils and plugs out of it, put them back in it, and she starts up. Well. We'll let it run and see what happens. Makes me wonder if the high pressure fuel pump went bad in this. You hear the high pressure pump gurgling after you shut it off. Like I go down the rabbit hole of testing the high pressure pump. Possibly putting one in it. 